Emotions running extremely high in a Bronx courtroom as the mother of the teen murdered in a case of mistaken identity faces her son's accused killers. John Shumo is here with that story that rocked the nation. John. Nate, those suspects who did appear in court today told a judge they were not guilty, but Junior's mom wasn't having it. Uh, she screamed at one point in Spanish, murderers. They killed my son. They kill a baby. They kill a 15 years old. They did not kill a man, man, a gun member, or nothing. They kill a good boy, only 15 years old. He was a baby. He was a kid. They appeared two by two in handcuffs to respond to the criminal charges they face in connection with the brutal stabbing murder of 15-year-old Alessandro Guzman Feliz. The suspects range in age from 18 to 29. All face a variation of murder, assault, and weapons charges. A couple face first-degree murder, which in New York. Uh, indicates a premeditated intent to kill. They are all allegedly members of the gang, the Trinitarios. Surveillance video captures them dragging Junior from a bodega and repeatedly stabbing him on a Bronx sidewalk. Turns out Junior was innocent. The gang was looking for someone else. Thank you very much. God bless you, everyone. And I hope you continue to come and to support me, me and my son, right. to make a justice for Junior. Police believe they have arrested everyone involved in this murder, so now the focus turns to preventing the next one. Lawmakers of the Bronx are teaming up with the NYPD to create safe haven zones in high crime areas. Police want to train small business owners on ways to improve security, things like better placement of their surveillance cameras and exterior lighting. Officials hope the initiative creates a refuge, a place for people to go who feel unsafe. Businesses that are taking part will have decals in the store windows so those on the street know a safe haven is inside. Nate? John, there was some resistance in court today about cameras being allowed in the courtroom. Tell us about that. Cameras are right now in court. Defense lawyers made the argument that the presence of a camera means more media coverage, and that means it'll be difficult to find an impartial jury. This is a tough one, though. There's video. There is surveillance video of this case, and everyone in the Bronx has probably seen it at this point. I'm all for innocent until proven guilty but there is surveillance video of people with knives stabbing another human being. How a defense attorney can stand there and take a paycheck and say my, innocent, my client is not guilty in this particular case is beyond me. Well, whether the cameras are allowed in or not, we'll definitely all be watching. Thanks so much, John.